Hello YouTube! I'm excited today because I get to show you one of my favorite skills, suspended logs. Uh, we're going to start out small and I'll show you the different ways of getting over them and then we'll work our way up to higher logs. Uh, I hope this video helps you and enjoy! Alright, so I'm going to start us out with this log. Uh, it's about six inches off the ground in the middle there where the bark's gone. Uh, so it's a good, it's a good start. Okay, so with a log that's not very high off the ground, this one being about six inches, um, there's two main ways to get over it. You could A, wheelie over it completely and let your skid plate take you over, or you could hit it part way up with your front tire and do the two wheel hop over it. Um, I'll show you both methods. First method, pretty straightforward. Wheelie straight over the log and let your momentum carry you over. Depending on the size of the log, you might slide on your skid plate, um, but that's okay. So, so the second method is a little bit more difficult. You have a few things to focus on, so let's make a list. The first thing you need to focus on is wheeling into the log with your front tire hitting it about two-thirds of the way up, okay? And then the second thing uh, is compressing your back suspension. With your legs, you, you actually physically push down on your suspension before your back tire hits the log. And thirdly, just before your back tire hits the log, you need to give it a second blip of throttle. <laughs> So I found something a little bigger, and uh, let's see how this goes over. So when a log is that big and that high off the ground, for me, I just worry about carrying some momentum and getting my skid plate on top of the log, preferably the back end of my skid plate. Um, that way, w once you're up there, you can usually get over. Um, it's pretty much just commitment at this point. So, not the sturdiest setup, but you see what I'm trying to say with the skid plate. Once you get your skid plate on the log, you can usually throw your weight forwards and get over it. Well, hopefully after practicing these methods, deadfall will no longer be a nuisance to you and you can welcome the deadfall because it's fun and awesome and it's good practice. Um, my next video will probably be on wheelies because uh, you need to be able to wheelie pretty well for all these methods. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Brad!